Why won't Gerald do it? It's his son who's in danger, right? He will be helping us. You'll see. He'll move Layla away from the door at the right time. I'll go keep the cops occupied. Someone needs to go in and finish but him. I can't, okay, Uncle? You see, I... I didn't ask if you could this time, son. I told you that you had to. You help me with this thing, then I'll help you with yours. Only God gives freely, son. Others expect payment. You should have thought first about how you would pay off your debts before you started gambling your money away. Since you didn't do that, here's your perfect chance. Do as I say, and I'll write off your debt. If you think that you can't do it, I'll wash my hands of you. Uh, are you threatening me, Uncle? I'm not threatening you. I'm giving you a chance to remove your debts, one chance. You'll kill two birds with one stone. You'll save Kareem's life by doing this, and your own by paying off your debts. Or instead, you'll both be in a world of trouble. when you're not looking anyway. But honey, I'm not making it too tight for you. Your hair gets in your eyes otherwise. The man can't stay in the house for more than five minutes. Who? Who do you think? Oh. What can he do, though? He's going nuts. Come on now, dear. Go watch your cartoons a while. Mrs. Layla took off at the crack of dawn as well. To where? Oh, Kenny, well, you know Eunice Effendi? We visited him yesterday, and he called her and asked her to come over early in the morning. Mr. Gerald was grumbling that I had put it in her head, and he's upset. Well, it's true. You planted it in her head. You never know, Kenny. God is great, and you never can know what he has in store. God damn him for this. He said that he wouldn't, he has. He said that he wouldn't, he did, damn the bastard. Why didn't he send the DVD to the police? He sent it to the house, the house, the house. He sent Layla that DVD. Thank God she didn't watch it. Aaron watched it, though. She saw everything. She knows everything that happened. She walked off with the DVD, and now she won't take any of my calls. Tell me, <sighs> how much do you really trust this woman, my son? Oh, I don't know now, Father. What kind of a question is that to ask me? I trust her. I have no other it's choice anyway. It's a simple anyway. question. Do you believe she won't say anything to anyone? Can she keep a secret? Is she trustworthy or not? Tell me that right now. Stop squirming and tell me, is that a yes or a no? No. In that case, there's only one thing to do. And what's that? We need to get rid of this woman before she talks. Dad, stop talking like that. We're not doing that. If you don't trust her, we have two options. Either you'll have to go to jail, or we get rid of that woman instead. Understand me? Dad, do you realize what you're saying? How is that even possible? Are you in love? Is that what it is? Oh, come on, Dad. What does that question have to do with what we're discussing at this moment? Don't you My dare God. lie to me, son. If it wasn't her, who would it be? Would you have said, I won't so easily? Mr. Ferriden? What are you doing here? There's something I need to discuss with Mr. Ferriden, in private. I can wait outside if you like. No, no. I'm going anyway. We'll talk about this issue later, Dad. What is it now, Mr. Mason? What do you want? I know you were at Ethan DeLiorman's yesterday. I saw everything, so don't you deny it. You went to Ethan DeLiorman's house at exactly 10.20 last night, and you spoke to him in his house. Yeah, so what? What conclusion did you draw from that? I drew this conclusion. You're the one who hired Ethan DeLiorman and the rest of the gang. You had Kareem abducted, Mr. Ferrer. You're on the wrong track, Mr. Mason. The wrong track. I went to Ethan's house. That's true. But not because I'm the man's boss. I went to make him talk and tell me where to find my grandson.
Who are you? And what do you want? My name is Faridun Ozdemir. You know the kid you guys kidnapped? Well, that kid happens to be my grandson. I will give you this warning only once, my friend. Heed my words. If you don't tell me where Kareem is before I leave your house, you and your family will be in a lot more trouble what than you What the hell are you imagine. talking about? Are you threatening me in my own home? Do you know who I am, Mr. Faradun? Huh? Get out of my house before I do something that we'll both regret. Go on. You know best. But be sure you know who you're talking to before you refuse. I won't let go of this problem that easily. Understand me? That man knows where my grandson's hidden, and I am Faridun Ozdemir. As long as I have life left in my body, I will do anything it takes to make that man talk about this crime. I will make him pay for what he did to my grandson. <laughs>